Hello everyone, this is Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers and Tuesdays with Michelle are back. Um, usually in the summertime for a couple months I lay low on making videos because I want to spend time with my son. So you probably haven't seen a Tuesdays with Michelle for a while, but I'm back doing Tuesdays with Michelle. Hopefully I can do every Tuesday, but we will see. Sometimes my schedule gets really, really crazy. So today's class, we're going to talk a little bit about picture stacking. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the photo. I'm just going to show you kind of the end result because I always like to begin with the end in mind. So this is what it's going to look like at the end. Now don't get too afraid of all these boxes over here inside of the area uh, in your layers panel because it's going to do it all for you. It's fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start from the very beginning. I'm going to throw away all of these layers, just trash those guys and start fresh. So basically I just opened up a photo and you can always tell what size it is by going up into image, resize, image size just to see. Right now it says it's 16 by 10, so I did take it at a high res um, shot whenever I took this at 300 resolution. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip on over to an area that we don't talk a whole lot about, but it's called the guided section. We are using version 13. Now I believe version 12 has uh, the same uh, photo play picture stack with it and I can't remember if it was in version 11 or 12 when it first started so if you have an earlier version you may or may not have this um, feature so you click on the guided feature here at the top and you're gonna see all these little pop-ups over here now some of them may be open or they might all be closed what you want to do is you want to open up the photo play and forgive me if I sound like I'm kind of in a tunnel. My allergies in the end of August and the beginning of September are terrible. So I sound like I have a cold. It's just my allergies. And then with the fires going on, it's also coming down to Colorado and it just makes me kind of congested. So hopefully I'm not irritating you too much with my nasally voice. But anyway, I kind of forget about it and then people say, are you sick? And I'm like, no, I'm not sick. It's just these darn allergies. So we have this open and I'm going to click on picture stack. Now it's so simple. You just go one, two, three, four. You just follow all the steps. You can do this in four. Uh, let's see, how many is that? Eight and then 12 pictures. So let's just look at 12 pictures. I think that's way too much for this photo. It's going to be too busy, but let's just click on 12 pictures and see what we get. I'm kind of crossing my fingers because it's probably saying, oh my goodness, that's too many. But let's just see um, how this goes. Probably shouldn't have clicked on it because yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's way too many. So let's go to four pictures. I usually pick four pictures. Now, the cool thing about this, those of you who are kind of intermediate users, we can all also toggle back to the expert mode to give us a little bit more um, or options. So I'm gonna click on, it's small right now, I'm gonna click on medium border width and see what that does. I don't like that, I think I like the large border width, so I'm gonna click on that. It says you can change the background, so let's just click on gradient, and I'm gonna click on okay. And down here, you, or over here on the right hand side, you'll see this little pop-up that says gradient fill. Just click inside of there, you can pick one of these gradient fills if you want to. I think I might go with, maybe I'll go with this blue and yellow. Or we could go with the yellows and the oranges, that might pop it a little bit, but pick one of those if you want. Or you can go with a solid color in the background as well. I'm gonna click on done, and I still don't really care for it too much, so I'm gonna flip on over to the expert mode. And then I'm gonna move these boxes. So if you see, if you highlight over the top of these, they turn like a blue color. Now, if you don't have your highlights on, it won't do that. So it's not a big deal if it doesn't turn on, but if you click and drag, you can pull these boxes around to your liking. Maybe I even want to rotate this box. You have to be very careful with where you are you know, clicking on. See, here's the layer over here. I can also shorten this box up if I want to. And remember, you're kind of skewing it, so you have to kind of be a little bit careful, but you have a little bit more control. The cool thing about this is that you can like maybe make this bottom right-hand corner box your um, journaling box. So you could put text in there if you want to. So let's just pretend I want to do that. I'm going to go to the very, very top layer, 
maybe I go over to my text tool and let's just pull this in here so we can see everything and let's go with size 14 I'm gonna go with a regular um, let's go with Adobe maybe Garamond let's try that and if I want to click and drag a text box uh, where was this Breckenridge Breck and Rid <laughs> um, let's just say it was January 2015 I can't even remember but it's way too small so I'm gonna double click and highlight that maybe I make that bold maybe I go with instead of a 14 I go with 30 I can change the color at this point if I want to on my text. If you want to learn a lot more about text, you can go into another class that I have. I think it's called Typography, and you can learn a lot about like letting and fonts and typography and all that kind of stuff. Breckenridge, okay, I think that's spelled right, January 2015. And then I can go back in there and I can just keep typing away. I'm just gonna type in whatever, it's not gonna make any sense at all. My letting is way too small. You see down in the bottom left hand-ish corner, it's at 12 point letting. But I want to set that different, so I'm gonna highlight everything. I'm gonna go in there, maybe go 18, or I'm gonna go a little bit more than that. I'm gonna go 30. And then we can left justify that if we want to. We can center it, or we can right justify it. Maybe right would look best. And if I, oops, I just moved the wrong layer, so let's move that back up. If I want to move that top layer, I'm just gonna go to, pull that to the top there. And then I'm just gonna drag it down a little bit with my arrow keys. And of course you can change the size. You don't have to have it all bold. Maybe I have this part not in bold. Turn that bold off. And um, let's, pull, let's put it a little bit more down here so it looks a little bit nicer. And then when you're basically done, you can go in here and save it. So let's go File. I always go Save As. I'm gonna call this Picture Stacking. Let's call it number two, just so I don't override anything that I already have. And then I could flatten this, I could upload it to Facebook, I could flatten it as a JPEG and upload it to be printed out, all that kind of fun stuff. But let me know what you thought of the first Tuesdays with Michelle back. I'm gonna be having these every week, hopefully. And also, if you wanna share this or like it or give me some ideas on what you want to see next week, because I love ideas, post it below if you're watching this on Facebook or just shoot me an email at info at naods.com. Catch you next time, guys. Bye-bye.